Hi, today I'd like to uh, look at a right triangle and see how the length of the sides relate to each other. So to start off with, we will draw a standard uh, right triangle. Okay, and uh, we'll say that this uh, longest side here is the hypotenuse and we'll call that C. And then we'll call the shortest side A and the side B and this is our right angle. Now to take a closer look at it, we're going to go ahead and uh, divide this triangle into two uh, right triangles. Okay, so now after divided into two, we have this small right triangle, that right triangle, and the original. Okay, so we'll call this side here of this smaller uh, triangle X. And naturally, this side here will be C minus X, since they both add up to being C. C minus X. Okay. So now, we know that because uh, we can look at them and tell that they're exactly the same shape, even if their sizes are different, we know that the shortest side uh, uh, in relation to the hypotenuse of this uh, small triangle here is the same as the uh, smallest side of the big triangle in relation to the hypotenuse of the big triangle. So here we can say now x over a is equal to a over c or in this case a squared is equal to xc. Okay? And now we'll look at uh, this triangle here and notice that the uh, second to longest side which is C minus X divided by the hypotenuse of this triangle which is B is the same as the second to longest side of the big triangle which is B uh, divided by the hypotenuse of that triangle which is C so we can say now C minus X over B is equal to B over C so we can say now c squared minus xc is equal to b squared. Well, we know that xc is equal to a squared, so I will uh, essentially substitute that in there, and we get c squared minus a squared is equal to b squared. Or, to paraphrase it, c squared is equal to a squared plus B squared. And what we have just done is uh, derive the Pythagorean theorem. And I hope you uh, enjoyed this, and I'd like to thank you very much for watching.